Is this cable car in Prague a major tourist trap? Let's find out. We're in a beautiful park in uh, Prague, Czech Republic that is called Petřín. And as you can see, it's a hill with a beautiful lookout tower at the top, the little Eiffel Tower called the Petřín Tower. Now, if you want to go up, you can obviously walk up the hill with beautiful views along the way, or you can use the cable car, which by the way, is one of the most popular things there is in Prague. More than 2 million visitors annually. But if you want to ride it, you have to buy a ticket. Now, buying a ticket may be easy if you know what you're doing, but if you're a tourist or a foreigner, it may be a little difficult, but we're trying to make it as easy as possible, right? We get this machine, it speaks English, it takes cards, it will give you this lovely ticket that then you put into that machine over there. Just to be clear what I'm pointing at, it's this machine, not this machine. Where you stamp it and validate it and make it valid. Now again, to be clear, you only stamp the ticket once. If you've already stamped it before, you do not re-stamp it. That would make it invalid. And if you think nobody would make such a mistake, uh, watch this girl, she just did. Uh, so did the other girls in her group. All these girls in front of me, they had a three-day ticket, which means they could go for free on the Fenicolor, but you can only validate it once and they validated it again, therefore making the ticket invalid. Now you can also use this machine, different machine, which will give you a different ticket that you don't need to validate. It's already validated. Also, I forgot to mention, you must use it right away. In other words, you cannot buy the ticket, wait around for five minutes and then use it. It would be invalid. So it can get a little confusing if you're a foreigner. That's why there's always a worker uh, working at the cable car that helps tourists and checks their tickets and if they need help purchasing the ticket, they're super helpful. I've been observing it here for a month and they're great. Like this worker of the public transport, he notices a tourist that forgot or didn't know he should stamp the ticket, so he stamped it for him. But sometimes they're not here to help the tourists. I mean, they kind of stand around and if the tourists asks, they will help, but they don't uh, show up to help. Okay, so we understand that for some people the system may be confusing, but uh, there's the person that will help you uh, and you make it to the top, right? But then some tourists raid this place, uh, the station, with very bad reviews and they refer to it as a scam and a tourist trap. Well, why would they do that? This is not a tourist trap. Well, they do that because once they reach the top, sometimes there is a ticket inspector. And if they have the wrong ticket or they validated it incorrectly or they didn't validate it or they validated it twice, they get fined. And one of those tourists actually reached out to us. Uh, and that's the reason we're making this episode. And he actually recorded the interaction with the ticket inspectors. You have to pay penalty, You have to pay 2,000. 1,000 for each. 80 euros. Uh, the situation starts at the bottom station where he bought two tickets for him and his girlfriend and the cable car was about to leave so he was sort of rushed in uh, to board the, the cable car. And on his way up at the end he met uh, two ticket inspectors that told him well you did not validate your ticket and he started recording uh, the interaction because he thought he was in the right because he bought the tickets. If I show you, if I show you a payment does it work? If I show you the, the payment for the ticket? Well, this is not fair. Now our viewer is telling the ticket inspectors that he will show them the payment meaning he will prove that he just bought the ticket five minutes ago and the ticket inspectors don't really care because all they're saying is you didn't validate it. Uh, by the way, I think the ticket inspectors in Prague are born knowing only one line in English and that is not validated. You saw everything from, from downstairs. You saw everything from the downstairs. Well, there's a lot of information in that room. Now, I don't want to take sides in this conflict, but sometimes I will. The argument that the tourists saw everything in that room, yup, you saw how not well maintained is the most visited tourist attraction in Prague. It's hideous, it's disgusting. So you saw everything downstairs. I agree with the ticket inspector. I understand we didn't notice it. I don't see machine for validator. I see a guy in front of the machine opening yeah. the door, yes. 
So now I started to call the police and after it can make you pay the penalty. I already called the police. And here's an important thing that the ticket inspector says, because what he just said is a lie. And he's using it to pressure the tourists. The inspector said that, okay, I call police, it will cost 10,000 crowns. That's a lie. Why would it cost 10,000 crowns? If you have a conflict and you call police, they're not going to charge you anything for coming to explain or settle the conflict. It's an utter disgusting lie. I already called the police. You don't know, you fake the call. I even fake the call. You okay. 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 This is a very important part that may not seem important at first listen. And that is the inspectors took away the non-validated ticket from the tourist. And now the tourist wants the tickets back. The reason he wants them back is because he's afraid that if the police will arrive, he will have nothing in his hands to prove that he did really buy the ticket. And the ticket inspector to that replies, oh no, don't, don't give him back the tickets to the, there's two of the inspectors. He's like, no, 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 don't give, don't give it back to him. He's stealing from me right now. I want my it's tickets back. Stealing. Yes. It's ticket of the company. I paid for that ticket. Therefore, it's my ticket. Your ticket is yeah, again, man, the ticket inspector is really wrong here. And I'm not a lawyer. This is just like basic common knowledge. It doesn't matter the ticket is not validated. The guy bought it, it's his ticket. But you're not the police. As the normal. But you're not the police. Yes, we are the police for, for the public transport. You... Yes. No. Yes. Right. They're not police for the public transport. There is actually a city police unit for the public transport, but it's not these guys. These guys are ticket inspectors. Their only and only job is to check if you have the right ticket or no. But first, you pay the penalty. Cash card? Give me the tickets first. Cash card, you pay? Give me the tickets first. We're running in circles here, uh, so let's wait for the cops. Let's see what happens when they arrive. Uh, both of the ticket inspectors are surprised that a police arrived to the scene and they're like, oh, well, we didn't call you. Well, I guess the guy called you, so I guess he didn't fake the call. So maybe you should not have called him a liar. Okay, maybe you should apologize. Nah. And do you pay? I can show you the... The driver was in front of the machine, blocking the machine from being ticket and basically telling us you need to come that we are leaving. Now, I was not present at the situation, so I have no idea what it looked like, what the scene looked like at the ticket machine. I've been coming here for the last month and there was always people helping the tourists. So in this case, it's hard for me to believe this story that the driver or anybody working here would block the machine to stamp the ticket. Uh, but I was once told by someone here that when the ticket inspectors are here, there's nobody helping the tourists at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> The way the ticket inspectors are criminalizing this guy who bought two tickets. He has them in his hands. He has receipts for buying the tickets. The tickets that are only valid for the cable car to go to the top. It's ridiculous, I'm sorry. By the way, here's the bank statement from the tourist and you can clearly see the time when he purchased the two tickets. And then 30 minutes later, they made him pay the fine. Another obstacle that we create uh, to the visitors of this uh, cable car is this line. Yes, it is created by the tourists. They stand in it, looks long, but all these people will fit easily in one car. But if they're here, where do they buy the ticket? Well, to buy the ticket, you need to enter that place, which is actually quite empty in that area, but the door gets clogged up. So if you're here and you want to buy the ticket, you sort of have to cut the line and the people in the door are not happy when you squeeze around them. So it creates this bizarre uh, place. 
And on top of that, and this is actually true, that black car that is parked here, it's been sitting here for two years. It's a rack car. <laughs> so is the Fenicolor a tourist trap? No, it is not. It's a beautiful uh, piece of engineering with great people working around it. But when some few ticket inspectors decide to turn it into a tourist trap, they're quite successful at it. Also, this is most likely the last time you're seeing this cable car uh, because it's gonna go through renovation of the stations and also there will be new cars. So there is some hope that when we renovate these uh, places, we can change maybe the system of how people get in so we don't send them into a trap. Super important things to mention. We are not justifying a ride without a ticket. No, buy tickets, have your tickets, and please validate them correctly. Try to understand our sometimes confusing rules. Second thing, not all tickets inspectors are crooks like the ones uh, in this recording. Actually, most of the ones that we meet on a daily basis are very nice, even towards tourists. And if there's a tourist that didn't validate the ticket the correct way, the inspector will help him validate it for him and send him on a good way. Uh, the problem is partially created by the fact that the city pays the inspectors extra if they catch someone without a ticket, which is a system that only benefits situations like these. How to buy a ticket? You'll find it on the channel Like a Local that we have, so you can check it out there or you can just Google it. Most likely you'll find one of the videos where I explain it uh, and I hope you will come to Prague and have a good time and you will not think of places that are ours as a tourist trap because you'll be prepared by the Honest Guide. See you next week. And in the end, I'm going to teach you a Czech word uh, regarding to the topic, and that is valid, uh, means platný. If something is valid, it's platný. So if the ticket is valid, it's platný lístek, valid ticket. And if it's not valid ticket, it's neplatný lístek. Not valid, neplatný. <laughs>